This is my biggest Timu video yet. I bought 50 gadgets for gamers. I made a mistake. Since we have no time to lose, I bought a gamer hoodie and sweatpants. It was $18. It feels very thin, but it's comfy. So what else do you need? This is a product you can find all over Amazon. Also AliExpress and Timu. And I've wanted to test it out for a while. It's a jellyfish RGB lamp. So let's completely fill this up with water. Then plug it in. Step two, pour in the soap, add the jellyfish, put the lid back on. You can also change the color here on the front you can change between a few modes okay we quickly turn off the light look at how cool this looks it looks so cool this is an amazing gadget for in any setup or room this is a mouse pad that isn't only rgb it also has a wireless phone charging pad on the left but i did see some quality control issues already as you can see the mouse pad isn't aligned correctly here it's very loose however the most important part of this mouse pad is a wireless charging and also the rgb the light starts relatively strong however you can see both sides fading away and by the time it reaches the end here there's pretty much none left you can change the color or the theme of the mouse pad if you keep pressing it you will turn of the RGB. Now an important part to test is the wireless charging because this is arguably the main feature of this mouse pad and it does work so this could be a good buy. These chopsticks are the perfect solution for grabbing a snack while gaming without actually having to touch the snack with your fingers. So let's say I'm sitting over here at my setup enjoying some snacks looking at my wallpaper which by the way is available in mousepad format on tvnshop.com or of course I'm just playing a game like a normal person and then I want a quick snack without getting green all over my keyboard i can just use these chopsticks this is the first try by the way but look at this it actually works and the chopsticks aren't annoying as well you can just easily use the mouse it's not in the way at all i really like this to be honest a clean way to store your game controllers is always nice and this little gadget is an under desk controller mount which you can easily connect on the bottom of your desk using the double-sided tape that they give with it now i want to properly test it but there is a problem already because as you can see on the product page they say that it's for playstation and xbox controllers but look at this xbox controller the placement of the joysticks isn't the same as the placement on playstation controllers so i'm not saying mounting it over here won't work because it probably will it won't be very good for the lifespan of your joysticks as well however it does work but look at how scuffed this looks <laughs> it almost fell down this is the first tech product from timu that i had high hopes for it's an eye massager with a heating function it had great reviews and it also looked premium on the website so i absolutely wanted to test this out it doesn't weigh that much but maybe that's a good thing for on your head before turning it on i have to say if this works it's a great gadget because it feels premium all right i want to test it i'm gonna keep pressing on the on button i think that will turn it on okay and okay i think this is the massage function and this is the heating function looks like you can make phone calls with this and is there music coming out of this <laughs> it has spa like music all right let's wear this and figure out how exactly this works i'm gonna use this as it's intended all right now i've been wearing this whoa i've been wearing this for a while and so overall this works really well it's warm around your eyes as well it really makes you sleepy but this is a nice gadget this is a three-in-one rgb lamp speaker and wireless phone charger i've seen this gadget all over amazon timu aliexpress so i decided to finally buy it and test it and i have to say it sounds like the music is coming from the inside of a thin can it sounds so thin no bass at all now what i do have to say is that the music Music reaction mode does work effectively now it also has an application it looked crappy in the manual and it's crappy right here the first one is changing the brightness the second one is changing the color but i'm not sure how i can get an rgb theme okay i think you have to press in the middle for the disco mode and you can wirelessly charge your phone which does work however probably very slowly if you like the look you can buy this but i don't think it is worth the money you know that annoying moment when you're walking towards your pc you go sit down and then you realize you then turn on the pc so in my case i have to walk all the way over here turn the pc on go back to my desk and then start gaming that's just too much work so i finally wanted to test one of these single switch buttons because these allow you to turn on your pc with one single press on your desk now zana is currently plugging in the cables i'm very scared for my pc i'm not sure if i should be let's see if she did a great job this should work now so we're gonna test it 
Okay, now I did turn on. The PC is starting. I see the power LED right here. The switch also comes with double-sided tape on the back. I just attached it. Let's press it on real well. It feels a bit sturdier, but not that sturdy. So that is a problem. We are doing honest reviews here, as you can see. Let's try to turn off the PC with it. I'm gonna press it and the PC is shutting down. This is amazing. I'm definitely going to attach it, but with other strips. Now, as many of you already know, I am a huge fan of AI. I use ChatGPT for a lot of stuff, but every time I try Try to make it help me with my YouTube channel, it always seems to fail me by coming up with bad ideas and really, really cringe titles. Now, you might remember me talking about vidIQ in the past because I use it a lot and I did ask the AI assistant to come up with a great idea for a title for my channel. And literally the first title that it gave me was unboxing the most wished for tech gadgets on Amazon. I didn't even know there was a wished for category on Amazon. This video is crazy good for my channel. And the reason why that AI assistant was able to generate that good of an idea for me is that vidIQ links all your channel data with their tool. So the vidIQ platform in general, not only their AI assistant, but all the other tools that they offer, they are based on your own channel data. And this is extremely powerful. I am so in love with this tool. I yesterday even had a call with someone on their team to talk about what they are planning in the future, how they are helping creators. They are very dedicated to helping creators grow on YouTube. And since I use them so much, I decided to partner up again with them. I really love their tool. They made a personal landing page for me and my my audience through which you can try the tool for one dollar for a whole month there is no way that vidIQ doesn't at least pay you back that one dollar in value if you also want to try using vidIQ i will link the page in the description it's one dollar if you want to grow on youtube i would highly recommend at least checking it out playing with noobs in leak can be a very frustrating experience well this little trophy is something you can give to that one friend that's very bad at leak and that often becomes so angry that they lose their marbles it's basically the definition of a rage quit on a plaque and I think we're gonna put it here to remind us that smashing controllers is expensive. Do you love RGB but are Nanoleaf triangles or Govi Glide products too expensive? These RGB hexagons from Timu might be the perfect solution. In the box are 10 RGB panels which you can attach to each other with the included USB connectors and besides the remote they also should have a great application so I'm really curious to test that. Now I was gonna show you how to connect two of these panels with the included USB connector. There are two problems with this first of all it's mirrored so you might be thinking hmm i need to turn this in order to read but nope they just printed it mirrored and on top of that the english translation is very bad as well okay so we made a quick test setup i haven't turned it on yet and they immediately connected in the application so i'll set them to 50 percent that's what it would look like this is 100 you can easily change the color just by rotating right here this is very easy and then on the bottom you can go to styles and there's a bunch of things you can cycle through so there are a bunch of effects that do look pretty nice but it's always one color for each tile i definitely think that if you want budget rgb panels on your wall for in your setup they are a good option now for all retro gaming fans out there we bought a retro nintendo 64 controller and i just connected it to the pc it does work i'm playing donkey kong right here now currently the bindings aren't perfectly mapped but when i connected the controller the game in the corner immediately recognized it the input lag is also pretty good as you can see i'm gonna press this to jump it reacts pretty Pretty quickly it connects through usb to the pc so i mean even though this is from timo it does seem like it's a pretty legit gadget i know what you're thinking but no, this is a VR mask. It is actually sold on Timu, and the reason for it is that VR masks are actually pretty disgusting. You put it on like this, you're sweating, then you give it to someone else, then that person puts it on, it's like all over your face. It's not hygienic. So the solution to this is a mask on your head. This feels wrong on so many levels. It's also not comfortable, but let's test it out. Okay, you put the mask on it, and then now the VR glasses aren't directly touching my skin. However, it is very hard to breathe through my nose now i want to get rid of this you know those crappy wheels that come with gaming chairs well these super smooth wheels are the perfect upgrade for any desk chair this here is the best selling gaming chair on amazon we built it in a previous video these wheels are very crappy and i think these will be an awesome upgrade they feel so premium so the mechanism to connect them looks very similar let's see if we can push them in i'm gonna have to push a bit harder all right it even clicks i think this is gonna make the chair super smooth all right let's see how smooth i will be able to roll with this chair now i want to test this in our office i'm gonna push myself backwards okay <laughs> here it actually rolls very well okay this is very smooth like look at this i can just slide over here this is a very decent upgrade <laughs> 
By the way, a quick break from all of these gadgets. Our new TVN mouse pads arrived and they look amazing. I love the designs and this manufacturer has such bright colors. The logo on this one looks so cool. There's a few designs. They are very high quality. If you want to check them out, there's a link in the description, tvnshop.com. This is the type of Timu gadget that you shouldn't be spending your money on. However, I couldn't stop myself, so I bought a big enter button. It is perfect for letting out all of your rage. Imagine typing a rage message on leak and then just sending it like this. But I am very curious what this looks like on the inside. <laughs> okay, a big foam enter button. This is the actual switch. And as you can see, you can't really press it. If you lightly push, you have to really smash and then it clicks. This is a giant waste of money. You shouldn't buy it, but I'm very happy I did because this is really cool. These gadgets are things you would only find on Timu. They are plastic dogs with a light on their head. However, I do think these would be a great addition to a cozy type of setup. Zana immediately started to assemble them, so I decided to film it myself. You can open the top of their heads and then on the inside, you will find the switch, the battery enclosure and the lamp all connected to each other. They also provide you with batteries, so you can assemble the whole thing and then just put it in your setup you can maybe aim them towards a figurine to highlight it we aimed it to our switch overall i don't think this is for everyone but if you like to be cozy at your setup and you just turn them on in the evening you put them next to you it changes the overall vibe of your setup this is what timu calls a curved phone hd screen amplifier simply said it's a magnifying glass for your phone and using this should turn the size of your phone screen into the size of a tablet i tested a similar gadget it was trash so I wanted to give Timu a chance. Also, look at this. High quality and anti-broken. Also, 5D. So we will try to aim the camera to give a good representation of what this looks like. I mean, if you look at this, it looks fine and big in the middle, but the sides are horrible. This is absolutely useless. HDMI capture cards can be very expensive, so I bought a $6 capture card from Timu. So to test this, we connected our main camera with an HDMI cable to the capture card, which is plugged into this PC right here, and so we're gonna show you both because the camera is recording while the capture card is also recording in OBS. And as a quick and even better test, what you see right now is the Elgato Cam Link. That way you will be able to compare them and decide if you wanna pay $100 for a capture card or $6. USB-C cables are used more and more, so why not spice up the ones that you're using? This is a Pokemon themed USB-C cable. It looks amazing. I was very excited about testing it out. However, I've been testing around with a bunch of cables and chargers. We have an application that shows you the charging speed with pretty much any charging cable we get around three watts here however i'm going to unplug this cable look at this i'm going to plug in the pokemon one 0.3 watts and after some time it stabilizes around 0.5 so they claim that this is a fast charging cable however it definitely isn't the price is only two dollars so you could buy this just for the looks of it this gadget is the perfect setup decoration for any real minecraft fan it is an rgb potion lamp and even though it is from timu look Looking at the packaging, this might be an official gadget. It honestly looks very cool if you turn it on. If you shake it, it will change colors. You can also tap it. And on the back, it also says Mojang Synergies AB. So I do think that this is an officially trademarked product. I want to put it in this setup, so I'm going to remove the Dragonite. I'm going to put this here and let's put the Dragonite over here for now. This next Timu product is something we all see all over the internet and all of us wonder if it actually works. It is the sticky cleaning gel that people use to clean things like keyboards. Oh my, look at this. <laughs> it's so sticky. Okay, I've got everything and... It smells like a cleaning product. All right, so I'm gonna test it here with my arrow keys. There is a lot of dirt in between them and this is pretty unhandy to clean usually. I'm gonna push it on. <laughs> I'm gonna move it a bit. <laughs> I think I've been pushing too hard. I can feel my switches in between. <laughs> I'm gonna take it off now. Let's hope we get all of it. Oh no, I made a mistake. Did I make a mistake? I'm not very confident about it. I think there is some stuff in between. This looks cleaner than a new keyboard. Now, I am so excited about this. I want to test one more location. This here is very hard to clean. So let's try it. I'm just going to push it on and then maybe move it like this. Just move it across these buttons here. Maybe push it in the corner a bit and then just move it back. 
Oh my, look at this. It's like magic. This gadget, even though it's questionable, it is 100% worth it. Unused ports on your PC or laptop can collect a lot of dust, so these little plugs are a great gadget to stop that from happening. I think this could be a gadget that's very useful because often a lot of these ports are barely used. That is, if they would fit, of course. The plug for the headphone jack is way too thick and this absolutely doesn't fit. The HDMI rubber is not deep enough, so I messed this up and I can't really get it out the usb-c one doesn't fit in completely so i like the idea but buy them somewhere else this is a water diffuser that doesn't only keep your room humid it also looks like a fireplace when you turn it on this is because there's an rgb strip on the inside and this will color the mist that's coming out of the diffuser so we put this lid on top you need a power brick yourself okay the rgb strip on the inside turns on and look at the mist that's coming out this looks so cool if you keep pressing it goes to another color it gives the vibe of a fireplace on your desk this is one of the coolest gadgets i've ordered from timu it's a magnetic cord lamp it's basically a light strip or cord with a magnet attached to the end of it so if you turn it upside down then the magnet gets attracted by the other magnet and on top of that it's also very bright like look at it in the setup i'm gonna put it over here it's also battery chargeable by the way this is the brightest it's a sad thing that arrived broken so calling it my favorite gadget from timu might be a stretch but i still think that this gadget looks really cool when it's stretched and when it's down like this. USB-C cables are used more and more but still on a desktop PC you have to look hard to find one let alone multiple USB-C ports. So these USB to USB-C converters are the perfect solution for that because this way even if your motherboard doesn't have any USB-C ports like this one you can just choose to convert a few USB-A ports to USB-C. Cable management is something important in any setup but it's often overlooked however these velcros are the perfect solution because you can easily cable manage your whole setup and then later just open them again to add a new cable i really like them as a cable management option gamers are nasty this is why we ordered a gaming chair cover which will protect your chair from spilling snacks now on the website they say that it should fit on any gaming chair however we have two right here this here is for the armrest but it's never gonna fit over this here so that's a bit of a pity it will fit over matthias's chair so i guess he's getting a beautiful beautiful red chair that fits perfectly and now we have two extra parts i'm curious if these are gonna fit so we should be able to put this over the chair like this then completely around it so it does have the perfect shape of this type of chair can we get it oh i tore it anyway we're too deep in now to stop now i think matthias will have to stop editing because we need the chair itself let's do the seat and there we go i mean it does work it might be something useful it's not bad at all but just know that obviously it isn't tailored to your chair this is the nerdiest set of cups i have ever seen if you get excited about Control alt delete cups i think you might have a problem although honestly these are so cool anyway i'm gonna put them over here because that way we can use them in the office to make coffee or to drink water out of it although I'm not sure if I trust drinking out of Timu cups. They honestly do smell fine. I've tested worse things, trust me. So I think that overall we will actually use these. This is a cheap plastic under desk drawer and it's even flimsier than I expected. Now it comes with a huge piece of double-sided tape. Like, <laughs> look at this. So I'm gonna try to position it correctly. I'll have to push it on like this. And this is definitely not coming off. It is very flimsy though. I have to... <laughs> When you open it, just don't use too much force. It's cheap, it works for storing simple stuff, and it's a great budget option. Nothing is more annoying than someone entering your room, having a conversation with you, and then leaving the door open. Even after you ask them to close it, I just don't get it. So this is an automatic door closer. It comes with one part to stick on your wall, and then one part to stick on your door. The pulling power of the wire is pretty strong, so we can attach it to the door, we can just attach it like this and then if you open the door then it will just automatically close however there is a problem it doesn't completely close but it is still better than someone leaving your room leaving the door open because it will actually close to the point where someone can't really 
see you inside anymore. Blue light glasses are very popular, however, even so, they don't get enough attention because they make you sleep better at night. They filter out the blue light from your monitor, however, will Timu glasses do that? I'm sitting in front of a lot of screens here, so I would definitely need these glasses. Now, I can't really see a direct difference between with or without, however, that is how blue light glasses should work. So, in order to know how well they actually work, we would need testing equipment. However, the Timu listing had a lot of good reviews that did seem genuine. People said it reduced their headache that they do notice a difference. For one dollar, they are worth to try. They might even work, but if you're really serious about protecting your eyes, please don't do it with Timu glasses. Now, if you are a sweaty gamer, literally or figuratively, then these thumbstick covers from Timu are perfect for you. On the listing, they said it was for PS4 and PS5, but after a bit of trying, you can connect them to the Xbox joysticks as well. They don't even make it look that bad. It's an easy way to personalize your controller, make it look slightly customized. They do in fact give you more grip and on top of that you're not gonna be wearing off your joysticks and let's be honest for only 80 cents i actually like them i like the look of this controller now this gadget is what timu calls a cute robot desk vacuum it has little eyes when you turn it on it also looks pretty cool in real life and in my first ever timu video i tested a vacuum cleaner i tested it with nesquik and it worked surprisingly well, it was very satisfying. So we're gonna try the exact same thing right now. If it quickly can clean up all of this, then this is a good gadget. Let's go for the test, the eyes turn on, and let's see, I'm gonna go through it like this. Now this is definitely not bad, there are some leftovers, so I'm gonna do the whole thing now. Okay, I think we can say that it absolutely works. You can definitely clean it with this. Now let's see how we can empty this. I'm gonna rotate. I think, okay, this is how you open it. There's a bunch of stuff on the inside, but there are definitely some leftovers that will be hard to clean without some kind of little brush. Gamers kinda stink. And if you don't believe me, try going to TwitchCon or a LAN party. This here is an air purifier and it should help both with removing odors from your room as well as with cleaning the air itself. However, I definitely don't have much trust in this Timu air purifier. So the top part is the ventilation system. Here I'm gonna plug it in. You will see the fan start spinning and then the lights turn on. So this part is legit, it sucks air in from the bottom and then it just blows it out on top. However, what worries me is the purifying part of this. So there are air holes on both sides. However, the air that's coming in right here should be filtered before it leaves. This here is the filter and I really don't have much trust in this here. Like, what is this? I will show you what the proper filter looks like. This here is the type of filter I was looking for in this air purifier. So I definitely do not trust this gadget. This is the HKSJ V100. This is a one-handed keyboard and while it is cool, the problem lays in the fact that it is nothing more than just the left side of a keyboard. Other similar devices have extra functions, for example, the Razer Tartarus has a scroll wheel, a joystick and then some extra macro buttons. I'm testing it out, it obviously works, it's a keyboard, so it's definitely not a useless device. You can have this on your desk, you can completely set it up, but it's also not the same as all these other one-handed macro devices or 100 keyboards. This is a digital USB tester and this can be used to test the power delivery of several USB output devices. So for example, you have a type C input and output. So I'm gonna plug the input right here into this power brick and then I'm gonna connect the output to this USB-C charging cable. And we saw different with phones. So if I plug this into my iPhone, then you will see that the device measures five volts. However, if we connect this to the OnePlus of Matthias, this is a OnePlus Nord 3. Then as you can see now, it measures 9 volts. Okay, it does jump around quite a lot. I'm not sure how trustworthy this is. However, it can probably be quite handy to test different power brakes. This is an RGB quicksand lamp. It looked pretty in the picture, so I wanted to test it out. Basically, it's two pieces of glass or plastic stick together at the sides with a liquid and air bubbles on the inside. And it's really fascinating how this works. When you turn it around, you will see the bubbles here in the middle. And then the sand is falling through the places where there are no bubbles or in between two bubbles. And so you push this in the base and then you can turn it on which will activate the light on the inside and as you can see some sand is still falling down but it's going very slowly right now you can change the color by just pressing here single presses and then if you want to turn it off you just keep pressing this here so overall this is a really nice addition for your setup i would say your living room but the base looks pretty cheap but this part however this looks high quality this looks premium really nice. If you need a way to kill some time during loading screens, I have a great gadget for you. This is a mini whack-a-mole console and it's actually pretty fun. These rubber buttons light up one by one 
and now you can just press them to make them disappear and go to another location. Now the sound effects of this could be a bit better, like if you click it, it says wonderful. However, if you do it quickly, it sounds like this. <laughs> so that's pretty bad. However, the price is only $4. So it's a great gadget to have on your desk and to fidget with during loading screens. This is one of those Timu gadgets that actually might be cool and useful. They are retro clothing hangers and the price was only $2. I'm very curious how durable they are, but I mean, for now, I think they will absolutely work. But for $2, this is really cool for a team setup, a teamed room, or just a retro fan that wants this in their house. GPUs are extremely heavy and if you want to protect yours, this next gadget could come in very handy. It is a GPU support bracket and since GPUs can be pretty heavy, it can just give you this extra peace of mind knowing that your GPU won't sag and that the connections won't break down. It's basically a small stick with an adjustable length on which your GPU can rest. It's something most people might overlook but it's a really handy addition to any setup. For the Adventure Time fans out there, this is a BMO Nintendo Switch holder. It's huge, it's plastic, it feels pretty flimsy but it does look very cool. You have to install the arms and the legs yourself. So as you can see, you can just slide it in here. And after that, you can just put it on your desk like this and it stands right up. Now, the purpose of this is to put your switch in and then play with the controllers and to use it like this as a monitor. And as you can see, this is a pretty fun gadget if you're a fan of Adventure Time. And while you're gaming on this, you can also charge it because as you can see, there is an opening on the back and you can easily push your cable through and then plug it into the switch. It is a cheap gadget. It feels pretty pretty cheap, but you buy it for the looks and the style and it does look pretty cool. The biggest enemy of a gaming setup is dust. This here is a see-through keyboard cover and it might just be what all of us gamers need. Currently, I'm a bit thorn on it because it looks very clean. I will show you in a minute. However, if you look closer, you will see that this isn't one piece of plastic. There's a bunch of cut lines and glue and it doesn't look very high quality. However, even though the build quality isn't great, check how it looks if I put it over my keyboard. This looks really clean and this will completely protect your keyboard from dust falling down on top of it while you're not using it, which is most of the time. Now, the price of this thing is $17. So looking at the build quality, I'd say it's not worth it. You can probably find a better built one for a similar or very close price. These are mini USB flashlights and they're basically mini USB sticks that have three lights on top. And these are actually pretty strong. I have a power bank here and I'm gonna plug it in so you can see. And now seeing them turned on again, these are actually pretty strong. I'm not 100% sure where exactly I would use them. You are able to connect them to a keychain though. So that's definitely an option. But either way, this is a really cool gadget. Some people get cold feet right before marriage, for example. Well, I get cold feet while gaming. This is an electric foot warmer and I am so looking forward to testing this. Now there is a quality control issue though, because as you can see, the on and off switch here is completely skewed. This isn't stitched correctly at all. I also wonder what the inside looks like. Okay, we've got some some electrical wires. Let's see if we can get the whole thing out. So this is the cushion itself. And then this here is like an electric blanket. I can feel some harder things on the inside. So I'm gonna try to carefully put it inside again. Okay, now I've been testing this for a while. It also vibrates, which was quite a surprise. I turned it on and immediately started doing this. I could use this under my desk while gaming. Now again, it doesn't get that warm. The vibration is very weird and annoying. So I wouldn't buy this gadget. Love them or hate them. Many gamers are huge fans of pops and figurines. This here is what Timu calls an acrylic display stand for figures. We had to build it ourselves, so of course, Zana had the honors, and she said that it was pretty easy to build, but that the holes weren't perfectly drilled. And so as a result of this, the platforms are a bit rotated, they aren't perfectly aligned. Maybe it's on purpose, I don't think so. We also bought these glow-in-the-dark Kodamas from Timu as well. I think they are a nice addition to this, the black together with this see-through plastic look. However, you could of course add a pop as well. Now one big downside, look at this, you can see the screws from the top, there's no cover included. So overall the quality of this is pretty low, but it is usable in a setup. However, you can probably find similarly priced but better things elsewhere. This Timu gadget is something that will be useless to most of you, but I just had to buy this. These are Fortnite birthday party invites. There's quite a lot of them in the package, it even comes with envelopes. And I mean, look at this, you can add your name here, so yellow just reached level 27. Then you can add the date, the time and the place of the
the event. And I mean, let's be honest, this is amazing for kids to give to their friends. It doesn't fit the envelopes though, but that's not a surprise. This is a battery storage organizer. It had amazing reviews on Timu. It's also a very simple gadget. It allows you to store your double and AAA batteries. So as you can see, there is two parts and you can drill them into the wall, but they also come with double-sided tape. So that's what I want to use. I'm going to try to align them correctly. Either the 3D printing wasn't perfect or I messed up a little, but I'm going to try to add batteries. I'm just going to release it like... <laughs> Well, that didn't work. Let's try to put one in manually like this. And then now I think we can just add another one. And I also have a AAA battery here. This is honestly a pretty cool gadget. This is an ocarina. It's a musical instrument that you might recognize from the Zelda games. It's a very old instrument that is supposedly more than 12,000 years old and that originates back to China. But it has of course been made more popular by the Zelda games. You can even see the Zelda Triforce on here. And not only is this cool to have in your setup if you like Zelda, it actually works. <laughs> And even more so, I took the time to learn Zelda's lullaby on this. I will try my best. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next gadget is a neck massager. And this is so much better than most of these types of gadgets. When I was unboxing it, I immediately had high hopes because this feels like a really heavy, premium and strong gadget. As you can probably see from the side, this is actually kneading my shoulders. It is very strong, especially if you position it correctly. It completely grabs your shoulder and then squeezes it together. The small sticks on the back, you don't really feel those. That's a pity because it usually feels good on the back like with thumbs and stuff it's mostly here on the top that it's grabbing your shoulder and like pulling it back i'm not gonna say that this feels as good as a real massage it definitely doesn't it feels a bit weird as well but it does squeeze your shoulders together so it's definitely something very usable, very decent gadget. Ow. <laughs> All right, I think we can agree by now that buying gadgets on Timu is a huge gamble. There are cheap hidden gems on there and I love searching them. I will definitely do more content like this. Don't forget to check out our mousepads. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you in one of my next videos. Have a nice day.